Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel, review anything and everything. And I really, because I'm outside in this whole kind of situation here, I'm sorry that this review is going to be, I don't have my mic on me and it's just kind of really running a gun. And, but this, you could see the name. You can pause that and read that for yourself. That was the name of this cage. Now I bought this cage for my two guinea pigs, which I just posted a video of um, a little while ago in regards to I downsized. Now this is the tank that they had previously. Now, the thing about it is this tank was a little bit hard to manage. Part of the reason is this thing pulls up right here and it comes out and you can pull this tray down. I mean, pull the tray out, pull this down and pull the tray out to clean it. But with the guinea pigs, they tend to have made like a lot of big mess everywhere and then would dump all of the material all over the place. I want to pause the video and I'm going to get more into the details from a different post. I'm just going to go inside because I don't want to keep recording here. I want to set up the mic and talk about my details on it. But I just wanted to show you the cage and then I'm going to get more into it after the fact. This right here is an opening right here that you just undo the little hinge. It comes up like that. This one right here is the same. You unlock this. This piece drops. And, and that's pretty much the details on that. Like I said, I'm going to go over the details inside. All right, you guys. Uh, continuing on the cage situation. Like I said, I showed you images of it. I mean, I showed you the cage itself outside, but the recording conditions weren't very pleasant to be outside. So I just wanted to kind of really give my details on it indoors so essentially here you see it goes for 35 and some change so it's a great value in terms of how much cage you're getting the size of it is very large um and so it's great in terms of for like two little guinea pigs to have a whole bunch of space the problem is obviously you've seen on my newer cage setup in the previous video where that standard type of cage setup has like a little bit of like a tub so um you've got that little tub on the bottom of it that prevents any of their bedding from flying around and whatever the case is. Cause apparently, you know, in the past I've had guinea pigs before they never were so like, you know, restless and running around. These ones now like to run around, dash around a whole bunch of kicks up a lot of the bedding. Now, if you had that tub as the walls, then essentially you wouldn't have to worry about the bedding going everywhere. This one obviously doesn't have that. Now it says that it's more geared towards rabbits. I don't know if rabbits are a little bit more calm in that respect. I have had a rabbit before in the past, but once again, that was just one example. I had a guinea pig in the past and that one didn't do all that kind of running, running around either. So it's definitely different experiencing, you know, a guinea pig that's very wild and likes to run around. So now it's a lot more messy with it. With also too, within that, one of my guinea pigs would go to the edge of the of the um, cage and would essentially go to the bathroom spraying outside of the cage in the corner. So at that point, um, yeah, it just really made a mess. It went on the floor. It was just always a problem. The fact that it had no tub or walls around it just became a problem. I ended up putting a trash bag around it, but that just ended up becoming an issue as well. So I don't want my experiences to... Uh, have any kind of negative impact on the review of the cage. But I'm just saying that to just let you guys know that if you are planning on getting this cage, just kind of be mindful that, I, you know, I'm going to guess rabbits, you can see here in the picture for their size, are probably a little more reserved in a tank like this versus just running around like how guinea pigs are. And not all guinea pigs are like that. But I think there's nothing wrong with the cage, but I found myself having to clean it very often. So doing that whole process of pulling the tray out um, I had, like I said, a bunch of little pieces of bedding. I used um, shredded paper for bedding and uh, it would just get everywhere and would be, you know, all over the place. And it just became very messy. Even when I was pulling the tray out, um, you're pulling a tray out almost like you're pulling a tray out the oven. It would spill extra bedding all over the place because the bedding went outside of the cage. And then when I put a bag around it, it got into that little pockets between the cage and the bag, trash bag. And when I would pull the tray out, it would all fall. So I think the cage is great. I think the cage is great for just be mindful what you're using it for. But as far as the size goes, I think it's great. I think the value is, is amazing. It feels sturdy. Um, it's just a really all around great cage for the size. In addition, something I didn't know at first until later on after I purchased it is that you may not be able to see it that well. But on the bottom here, there is a cage. 
I mean, let me see if it shows it on here. Like kind of like a, a mesh bottom part of the cage. Now, I wasn't sure if that was if you had to have that installed when I first purchased it because that wouldn't have been good for guinea pigs. Guinea pigs' feet are way too small for that. But luckily, it doesn't come attached like that. So um, you can just not attach that piece and just have the bottom part for them, which once again, would actually having that piece for the correct sized animal would make the cleaning process a lot easier because then it would all, all the stuff would drop to the bottom. And, and, and essentially, you wouldn't have bedding for a rabbit because if you had that grating cage part that they're walking on, essentially everything will fall to the bottom. And that's kind of really what it's intended for. So me not using it for that intended purpose did make it a little bit more harder for the cleaning process. But then again, like I said, this is, it says specified for a rabbit. And though you can use it for other animals, it's not necessarily, that's how it comes when it first gets it, it's all folded up. And if you want to store it, you can actually do that same thing. Um, it's intended for rabbits. So with that being said, I think that my purpose and use was not really what it was targeted for. So that's probably why my experience with it was less appealing. Here you can see here, um, they even have a couple of guards on it that guard the side. Um, I'm not specific, specifically sure what that's for. If there's a certain area, maybe with the feeding areas or whatever, I'm not sure, but it's really designed for rabbits. So I just wanted to keep that in mind with everyone. So they know if you're thinking about purchasing this, it's really geared for rabbits. You could make it work for other animals, guinea pigs, maybe even, um, uh, hamsters, but just really be mindful that the cleaning process is not the same. If you have a tub design cage, it's easy for you to just remove the uh, animals, just completely clean it out, even rinse it off if you need to, just dump it out. It's easier, it's all self-contained versus this type, which is um, not really designed like that. So with that being said, you guys, as always, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.